guys it's your boy comedic tamara well, i should probably stop using that intro uh yeah i know i haven't done a video in a very long time trust me i have my reasons but today i think i'm trying to make it all up to you doing a quick little adobe after effects tutorial well nothing about it is quick but um today i'm going to be showing you how to make a trap nation audio visualizer now just keep in mind if my computer does lag a little bit while we're doing this um it's because i'm recording and trying to make a very complicated effect at the same time. So, let me open up uh, After Effects to do this. Now, um, I will export the end product and we'll put it so you can see what it is. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put it at the beginning of the video or whenever you wanna. So, I'm just gonna create a new project and then I'm gonna go Composition create a new composition like uh, so. Name this one Visual I can't type tonight. Visualizer presets 1920 by 1080 yada yada yada. Uh, I was doing something else earlier. Um, I'm just make this a quick 20 second file. Okay. So now we should have this. So to begin you're going to want to import your song. So I'm just going to double click uh, music, uh, let me just quickly find something, okay, I'll use this, actually, no, that doesn't have good bass, <laughs> yeah, this, this one's predicated on having some strong, um, I guess you could say good drop, so, I'm gonna use this one, so, Pastanistan Express by Spaghetti, it's actually a really good song. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to download it, but now I'm also going to import my uh, pickup background. I don't know who this is. These are just random pictures, so yeah. doesn't really matter too much for the purposes of this video if I did happen to have your background. I have no idea who you are. These are just random backgrounds. Sure, yeah, I'll use this. And then... I uh, just want to import some of my files. I'll speed this up for you all so you don't have to see me sit here and browsing my files. Okay. So, to begin, let us create a new solid called a spectrum or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't really matter. Then search audio spectrum like so. Apply it to the effect. And now you should get something that looks vaguely like this. Now, um, set your uh, layer, your audio layer to spaghetti and it should have something that's going to look a little bit like this. Now, um, leave these alone for now. Um, change this to around, I like 250 to 300. So you're going to see a lot more bass now and it's going to look like this which you can already tell looks much more like the Trap Nation logo. Now this is going to be intensive on your computer so beware when I do this. Joink. Now you have this sort of effect. Now uh, you can make these each white because you want it to be like a Trap Nation logo as you can see here. So um, uh, you can just kind of leave all these the way they are. It doesn't really matter. Now search up the glow effect. Stylize glow like so. And then just increase the radius I like around. I like 15 and 1.2 or so. Will look pretty good. Um, you could just leave the threshold alone. But now as you can see it's a much more fluid picture kind of see we got a much more fluid picture here so it looks much more like the trap nation audio visualizer all right so now that we've done those two leave this open and then search up uh polar coordinates this one right here apply it and then set it to rect to polar rectangular to polar and then set this all the way up to 100 percent and now, as you can see, we have this. Now what you're going to do is, I like setting this to 0 at 1920. Now, a bit of an issue with this is, so you should see now something that looks like this. 
So am I forgetting my aspect ratios? Uh, let's go side, I think it's side, not side B, sorry. Side B, and then you should have something that's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna set the maximum height to right here, 750, like so. Um, See, so if you do it the other way, it looks like that. So make sure you get it like this. Now what you're gonna do is go to new, um, and create a new solid. I think uh, just call it circle. And then you're gonna go to search circle, generate circle. It's an 8-bit thing, like that. And then simply increase the radius until it hits there just about like that and now you should see you have a kind of solid white now you should not ever see anything outside of it that should be good now you're gonna control D sorry that's wrong make sure you have this layer selected and please please don't be dumb duplicate thank you set it to black like so and then decrease the radius by I like like 10 or maybe 10 or 20 kind of depends on the look you want yeah I'd say so let's go 264 like that there you go now you got a nice black center right there and now you can see this is starting to look a little bit more like the trap nation logo and you know, I'm going to import the background at the end because it just makes everything slower when you have it in there. So just do it. Do it at the end. Now I'm going to now import this. It's just a little logo for the thing. You can use whatever you want. And then just go into the transform scale. Put it around 90. Like see that, that should fit pretty nicely in there. Now we have this nice looking visualizer. Let us continue onward to the next step. I'm probably going to commentate over this because this is horrible. Now what I want you to do is select the spectrum and search up another effect to put on it. We're going to add a mirror effect to spectrum like so. Um, and then you're just going to center this 960. Now you can see we now have it on both sides. Quick update, for some reason my software stopped recording. So what I did when it stopped recording is I made the little color burst effect that you know Trap Nation has. Where as you can see we get these nice flares of color that come out. And I know these aren't in Trap Nation order. You can adjust them for Trap Nation order. But in essence the procedure to create one is you Okay, quick pause here in the middle of the video. I know, I know I'm interrupting, but when I was making this, I forgot to tell you to do something, and that is make sure you duplicate the layer four times so you have five layers in total, um, and uh, make sure you keep the white layer on top, and then apply this procedure to each of the inv individual layers. Don't do it all to the same one. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to avoid confusion. Anyway, uh, get back on with the video. Go down to find search levels and find levels, individual controls, and then you simply drop all the others but the color that you want to zero, except in the case of orange, and then you just increase the, um, the maximum height by 50 each time and then you increase the audio offset from a base of 120 which is read by 20 each time and you should get this little sort of all the things flare out at once and you get this nice sort of color expanse now for to get orange what you need to do is the levels are 125 green and 255 red and you'll get orange so those are the two numbers you need to know and that is it now you will have this cool looking little bouncing effect but as you know we are not nearly done we've got much more work to do so let's start by getting some particles in here so in order to save some time I'm just gonna control click all these layers and I'm gonna go up to layer Precompose, just name it Visualizer. 
sorry. Name it Visualizer, like so. Now you will have a pre-composed layer. of the visualizer. So, you see it looks just like that. Now, now I'd like to import, uh, actually you can wait on the background and I have two compositions called visualizer. Wow, you are smart. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Let me just rename final comp. Remember the name of these, by the way? It's important. I'll get to that later. So next, let's do, I'm gonna quickly add in our particle effect. So create, once again, another new solid. Call it particles, just for simplicity's sake. Um, and then position it below your visualizer. Now search for particle, CC particle world, like so. I'm gonna try to avoid using plugins here. And then just disable all this good stuff. You don't need it. It just, it's just annoying. It just distracts. Now you're going to go into the longevity, crank it up to four. All right, guys, I am determined to make this video. My footage crashed again just as I was talking about the producer. So, what you're going to want to do is set the producer values all these to zero. In the physics, you're going to want to make the velocity around 0 0.3, crank that longevity up to 6, not 4. You're going to want to make this around 0 0.3, 0 all these values, and set the particle type to fractal omni. Then you're going to go into the particle settings, change it to shaded sphere, sphere and then 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. Um, max opacity 100 and you should have something that's gonna look roughly like this which as you know is pretty similar to what we have from Trap Nation that looks pretty nice yeah so now what I'm gonna do is I am now going to mute the actually sorry before we do that we're gonna search up a fill like so drag the fill onto the particles you're going to set the fill to white like so and now what you should have is you should have the white trap nation particles however we are not nearly done with our particles next i want you to drag another mirror effect onto said particles set this to once again 960 and now what you should see is you see we have this now if you were paying attention you saw that the particles are now split in the middle like they are in Trap Nation's videos. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to close all this and you're going to actually mute your visualizer layer and re-import your base audio like so. There's a reason for my madness, don't worry. Now you're going to go into Keyframe Assistant, so you right click on it, go to Keyframe Assistant and then convert to audio keyframes like so. And now, guys, I'm afraid to tell you, we're going to have to use an expression. I know they're scary. It's okay. We're going to handle it. We're going to be fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the particle settings. So you're going to click on your particles. You're going to go back to the particles. You're going to go into this effect. You're going to go into physics, velocity, and you're going to alt-click on velocity. And now you're going to type the following expression that I'm going to type. Just, I'm going to have it zoomed in screen and on the description. Now that you're going to insert here the name of the comp, if you've been doing exactly what I'm doing, you should have a comp that this same name. And then, um, then you're going to set the layer to audio amplitude, and by the way, spaces are okay. Um, effect, both channels, like so, and that should be it. 
On top of that, add in slider right here. Sorry, forgot that. Okay, there we go. And now go into your audio amplitude, go to effects, and delete left and right channel. They're just taking up space. Don't need them. Now that you have that done, you should see that we have a now adjusted velocity that's going to speed up as it gets louder. Now, velocity is quite a large number, so I like dividing it by even more than that, so it's kind of only a very slight increase. In fact, I, I mean, you can take this as high as you want, just kind of depends what you want your base velocity to be. And you can tweak that however you like. As I said, I'm not using exact values here because I kind of want to leave this up to your choice. But now that you have this sort of fractal omni effect, you're now a go to begin adjusting your visualizer. That's right, the bouncing to the beat effect. Now you're going to search up magnify, distort, magnify on the visualizer. And then you're going to increase the size way up until it's bigger like there around so I like I like nice round numbers so I'm gonna set it to 550 now you want to make sure that it's not gonna cut out your effect so I'm gonna go that big I want it nice big now you can set this back to 100 now you're gonna once again alt click on magnification and you're gonna go down into your particles copy this expression it's the same thing copy it again and then you, you're gonna do divided by five this time instead of things so now you should have this And now, as you can see, we have a nice logo that bounces to the beat. I'm sorry, I'm very proud of myself. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is um, add in our background. So go into the background, drag it on, uh, go into transform, and then just simply resize it to fit the screen, like so. And now you will be in possession of a finished visualizer. Now, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to leave it a like and a friendly comment. I know the thing was very disorganized, but anyway guys, that is going to do it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>